welcome back guys to our class today in today's class we are going to understand how to connect your computer to a switch using a console cable and configure that switch from your computer so before we do that let's understand some of the various ports that are in a switch the, the types of switch ports basically there are three types of ports in a switch the first the first port is a console port the second port is gigabit ethernet port or giga port the third port is ethernet port so we are going to understand what cabling are used to connect these various ports and the function of each port and uh, the devices that can connect to these ports so under console port we use a console cable we use a console cable to connect our pc from a switch then the function of a console port the console port enables us enables us to configure the switch we just connect that console cable to a switch and obtain the switch interface from our computer and configure from that point then the only device that is connecting to console port is our computers that we are that you are using to configure the switch so in the below diagram here is the console port that is the console port that we are going to use to connect to our pc and configure this the switch okay so the second port gigabit ethernet port or gigaport the gigabit ethernet port we are going to use cat cable category cable okay cat cable we have already understood the various types of cables in our previous classes so if you have difficulties kindly refer to the previous classes and what's the purpose of this gigabit ethernet port is to share data between the devices okay and the devices that are connecting to this gigabit ethernet port are a router switches and pcs in the below diagram here are the gigabit ethernet ports as you can see on this switch there are four okay gigabit gigabit ethernet port they transfer data at a very high speed that's that's why they are called gigabit ethernet port then the third type of switch port is ethernet port under ethernet port we still use a cat cable category cable you can use a category 5 category 6 category 5e cables to connect to these ports and the purpose of this port is to share data between the connected devices okay so the device that are connecting to the ethernet port can be a router a switch or pc so refer to this below diagram these are the ethernet ports some switches have 24 ethernet interfaces okay so these are the ethernet ports on this switch all right so i hope you have understood the various types of switch ports the cabling that are used to connect the devices and the function of each port and how to locate them on a physical switch okay so let's see what we have next connecting pc to a switch using console cable so when we want to connect our pc to a switch there are requirements we have hardware requirements and software requirements under hardware requirement you must have a pc you must have a switch and console cable 
okay and uh, PC and the switch at least you should uh, connect them to a power socket all right so under software requirements you can use a putty a terra term or secure CRT these are emulating programs that I use to emulate various computer terminals okay they are emulating software programs or softwares that I use to emulate computer terminals okay you can download them and install in your computer okay so for you to access the switch interface on your computer using the console cable you must use one of these softwares understand in the below diagram these are the console cables there are two types of console cables you know there are some compu computers that don't have ethernet port and instead they have some usb port that you can use to access the internet okay so for those computers that have a usb port they will use this console cable and for the computers that don't have a Ethernet port they will use this USB console cable so this is how console cable looks this cable here it consists of two ends the one end is a VGA connector that you will plug into your VGA port in the laptop okay and on the other hand is a RJ45 connector that you will con plug into a switch for configuration. On the second cable, it's cons it consists of two ends. The first end is a VGA female connector. A VGA female connector is like this. Because you can see, you can't plug it directly to any device. You can only co connect it to a connector like this. See, here we'll get inside here. That's why it's called a VGA female connector. And now this is a VGA male connector. This one gets inside this one. Okay? So that's why it's called VGA female connector. Because it is used to connect a VGA male connector. So after connecting the female and male, we, we will have two ends. One is for this one and the other one is for this one. When we have connected the female and male to form a one cable. So on this end we will plug to our PC, PCs that don't have a VGA port. Okay. And this end we will connect to a switch. I hope you understand between the male and female. I know it's a bit confusing because we are using human beings here to explain a cable. But kindly understand. The male inserts into the female VGA connector. Then, this is a sample of connection. So, this is a VGA port. This is a console port on a switch. This is serial RS232 port on a computer. On this end is a VGA connector and on this end is RJ45 connector. So when we have connected like this, we will use one of these softwares installed in our computers to access the switch interface for configuration. So let's see that in our practicals okay so this is our packet tracer the purpose of this class is to connect a pc to a switch using console cable so we need three things a computer a switch and a console cable so let's choose our computer click on these end devices and drag and drop there then switches 
come here network network devices click on the switches and I usually prefer that you choose 20, 2960 switch okay then on the cabling to find a console cable here over over these cables and you will see where it's written console around down here see here okay so this this one is our console cable so click on it and come to your pc and click on the pc and we said a console cable is connected to serial rs232 of the computer so you choose serial rs232 click on the serial rs232 come to switch click a switch we said switch has three types of ports first one is console fast ethernet and gigabit ethernet as you can see them console is above fast ethernet are 24 ports then gig gigabit ethernet are two ports down there they have different colors as you can see three types of ports so this this was to connect pc to console port of a switch so we choose console interface yeah choose that one good so we are good to go what is remaining those softwares how can we install the softwares on a cisco packet tracer we can't because they are already installed that's very good so come to your pc click you have clicked on your pc go to where it's written desk desktop click okay then terminal we said there are these softwares are emulating programs they are used to emulate computer terminals so we come to terminals click on the terminals the softwares are already been installed on the cisco devices in the packet tracer click good you will see something like this don't try to change anything leave as it is and click ok good we have accessed the switch interface from this computer this is a computer see the pc1 so just hit enter as you can see it's a default name of the switch we use a program to access the switch okay so we can configure the switch from this point let's configure some parameters that we discussed earlier such as host name banner message line console password and line video password so the first thing is to move from this is user exec mode to move to move from user exec mode to privilege exec mode which is en and it en or enable and it enter we are in privilege exec mode a switch with hash okay this was user exec mode a switch with greater sign so we want to move from privilege exec mode to configuration mode so that we can configure this switch what do we do we can we, we type which command config t or configure terminal and it enter so we are in configuration mode the first thing that we want to configure is host name which command do we use to configure host name host we just write host name like that and want to give the switch which name let's say switch one test okay as you can see the default name has changed to switch one test all right so we want to configure banner message banner message we i said do you write banner MOTD MOTD basically means message of the day MOTD message of the day and after it after, after writing banner MOTD what do we do you put the message inside two characters if it is hash hash let it be that, that one if it is star star let it be that one okay so here I leave I will use hash this is test switch after writing 
your message you have to enclose it using the same character that you used earlier to open the the comment part just like that understand good connect mm -hmm. good configuring line console password line console password i said when somebody wants to configure that switch physically using console cable they will log into the switch using this password and uh, which command do we use line console zero remember that one line console zero then it enter then write password password let's say one two three four okay then you log in that user after the user has entered the, this password he or she will log in and exit this interface so that we can configure a telnet password a telnet password is that password that you use to configure the devices remotely when you are away okay and you can't configure them physically you use pass telnet protocol and the telnet protocol uses switch line on a, on these devices len vty so you you say line vty 0 to 4 just just specify 0 to 4 okay then password let it be just the same one two three four okay then log in that user exit this interface good and an important command that we said you have to save this configuration which command do you do, do we use to save the configuration it is do write when we are in configuration mode do write when we are in configuration mode okay do write or do w r in short and it enter building configuration meaning it's saving running configuration into startup configuration running configuration i said that have not been saved and the status configuration those are configuration that have been saved such that even if we power off our devices we'll still find them but running configuration if we power off our devices we, they will be lost okay all right so how to display the configuration i said do show show startup start like that or you can write startup configuration but i would like us to go faster so shortcut commands do show start as you can see what's our host name is this one switch one test then enter 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 banner message is this this is test switch okay line cons console zero password was one two three four then line vty password was one two three four okay so that's done we have managed to cons to configure this switch from our pc using console cable so guys it's a very important thing because when you have a real world switch a physical switch the same thing that i'm doing here is what you will do you will have a console cable a computer switch and uh, install software which are either putty teratum or secure crt so in this case cisco packet tracer always comes with this software installed on the these devices okay so what's remaining i think that's the end of today class see you again tomorrow bye